hi guys this is Ify and welcome back to my kitchen in this video I'm going to show you how to make an amazing delicious but most importantly simple meat sauce it's so silky and so delicious it's so good you're going to want to slap somebody but please don't slap anybody <laughs> this is good so guys all right let's get right into the cooking action shall we So guys, the first step to making your beef sauce is to cut your beef very thinly, just like this. I've cut some already, so just try to cut it as thinly as you can, okay? So it looks like, looks something like this. So if you can get the regular beef stir fry, that's the soft part of your beef, that is fine. You don't have to boil it, you can skip the boiling step, but for those of you who can get the soft stir fry, the soft cut of meat used for stir fry? This is a method you can use. So cut your beef as thinly as you can, and then we're going to boil it till it is nice and soft. So I'm just going to go ahead to cut everything, and then I'll show you the next step. So once you're done cutting your beef as thinly as you can, you're going to just pack it all up like that and put it into a pot. Okay, we're going to be cooking this beef for a few minutes till it gets cooked. So to cook my beef, I'm going to add some onions, the usual suspects actually, some garlic, minced garlic, okay, and my seasonings. Don't worry, I'm going to drop a list of the seasonings that I have in here in the description box so you can check it out, all right? And then of course I'm going to add oh, a little salt, okay? and give everything a good mix yeah this is looking good okay i'm gonna keep, mix it all up and then add some water all right i'm gonna cover the pan and allow it to cook right so yeah once it gets tender nice and soft i'll show you all the next step so my pan is nice and hot now. I'm going to go ahead to fry our beef. But the first thing that goes into my pan is our butter. Guys, if you have butter, please make sure you add some because butter really does add a whole lot of flavor. And I'm going to be frying our meat in this butter. But to prevent our butter from burning, I'm going to be adding in some cooking oil, okay? So if you don't have butter, please feel free to use cooking oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, whatever oil you have at hand is fine. But if you can get butter, even better, all right? So to this butter and oil mix, I've added my onions. I'm going to saute the onions for about 60 seconds, that's about a minute or a minute and a half, all right, to allow it release its sweetness. And to it, I've added my ginger and garlic. Guys, I call this the holy trinity like onions, ginger and garlic. The aroma is everything. It smells so good and it does add a whole lot of flavor to your dish. Okay, so if you can, always make sure you use it. Onions, ginger and garlic. Perfect. All right, so to that, I'm adding in my beef. I'm going to give everything a good mix and then I will allow the beef to fry till it develops some color okay so i'm just going to toss it around and leave it do not disturb it allow it develop some color without it burning as you can see the meat is properly browned it has developed some flavor as it was frying it looks beautiful without it burning now go ahead to add your onions and add some chili flakes Add as much or as little as you can tolerate. And regarding the onions, guys, if you want to add more, please feel free. There is nothing like too much onions, as in not where I come from, because onions really does make your food taste good. But if you don't like onions, you can skip this part, really, because you already added some minced onions at the beginning, okay? So go ahead and give everything a good mix and allow it to cook for a few minutes before you add your vegetables 
I'm just using some bell peppers and carrot here to give everything a good mix and allow it to fry for a few minutes. All right, so stir fry this for a bit and then in goes our meat stock. Okay, looking gorgeous. So simple, so easy. Feel the flavor. Now I'm going to add some paprika powder just to give it some color. Nothing more. Okay. And then you must taste first because you've added your meat stock, which of course you seasoned very well. So taste. Mm. I'm going to add a little seasoning, just a little. All right. And then I want, I want some more stock, some more sauce. So I'm going to add some warm water. Just a bit. This is perfect. Guys, if you're yet to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. Help me get to 100,000 subscribers this year. It would really make me so happy. So please click the subscribe button and the notification icon. So each time I upload a new video, you'll be the first person to know about it. Okay? Thank you so much. I know you all want to help me and you want to see my channel grow. This is a way to help me. Remember to give this video a thumbs up as well and to share this video with your friends and your family. So what I'm going to use to bind this sauce is this liquid here. It's called the cornflower slurry. Ooh, that's hot. It's a mix of water and cornflour. All right. This will bring everything nicely together. I'm just going to pour it in here. And then stir till it gets all nice and thick. Look at that. It's almost magical. Just look. Just look at that. Now for some depth of flavor, I'm going to add some soy sauce. Okay. This is light soy sauce that I'm using. This is just going to add more flavor. Intensify all the flavor that we've built in here already. This is, this, this looks good guys. Look at this. All the vegetables, the meats, I mean the aromatic, the, the garlic, the ginger, <laughs> everything is so, so good. And it was so easy to put together. It, it didn't take me up to 10 minutes guys. Not up to 10 minutes to put all of this together. Of course, aside from of course boiling the meats, that one took a little time, but not so much. And look at this, look. And it's all done. I'm just going to turn up the stove top and we can eat. Lovely.